welcome back oh guys it's been a week and let me tell you guys what a week it feels kind of weird to just finally sit down and talk to you it was just the busiest week so i had this week off from work this past friday was my 28th birthday so i wanted just to celebrate with my friends i'm here in italy everything is going great and i was able to just gather my friends and be together it was a really really small group of people we were around the 10 around the 10 15 people max and it was really good to be at my house and we celebrated and actually i'll insert a picture right here We were all together and it was such such a nice day and I had so much fun. I spent the day with my boyfriends, with my family and it was so so good. So this week I had to prepare everything. I just did the cakes on my own and I prepared everything myself. So it was a lot of work but it turned out to be great and i just cleaned the house i just prepared everything and i think i was a great hostess <laughs> anyway just enough rambling you know if you've been subscribed to this channel you know how much i talk but i can't help it we talk only once a week so i need i need really to fill you in about my life and feel great and got my hair done it's still curly from Friday. It's just, I'm loving this barmaid hair. It's just giving me life. I don't have a waiver yet, I still have to buy it. So I went to the hair salon, got my hair done, and I couldn't be happier. And today, actually, I finally managed to sit down and film for you guys. And today's video is actually one that I don't know it's i would say it's kind of lifestyle related because i want to talk about my favorite tv shows of all time and it can be a really long one but i tried to really condense the tv shows that i was that i was and i'm still really passionate about i thought it would be a great idea to share with you my favorites and go way back in time i'm not only going to talk about tv shows that are currently out i'm going to just go and dig in the past so bear with me and just let's get started so the first tv show that i would like to mention and by the way i'm not doing that from my most favorite to the least favorite logical order and the first one that i would like to talk about and i'm sure if you're a 90s girl like me you will remember for sure it's dawson's creek oh guys this tv show that it brings back so so many memories so this tv show first aired i believe it was 1998 so at that time I, was, I wasn't able to watch it. So I started watching it around the end of elementary school and the start of middle school. And that TV show was such a great TV show. First of all, it was based in a really small town and I actually do live in a really small town. And that was the first show that really um, made the time when I was approaching to teenage life and the time that i was starting to just have my first crush and all that and watching that tv show made me to understand how it works and so many dramas that can happen in high school which was still not just so close to me but i was still in middle school but anyway me and my friends we were also happy me and my girls just to sit down and watch it and i was a, such a huge fan of joey and pacey's love story and i was so so happy that in the end they got back together maybe if you're a dozens fan you were team Dawson's, but I've always been team Pacey's and I will always be. And it was such a great TV show. I'm sure, again, if you're around my age, you've watched it and you've loved it because it was such a hit. And I still love it to this day. I actually haven't watched it in a few years now, so maybe I can do a sort of 
we can do a marathon and start watching again with my friends. But every time I just hear that song, I don't wanna wait. It's just, it makes me really shiver because it brings so, so much. And me and my friends are still obsessed. And I actually, back in the day, and I'm not sure if I do watch it still today, some of the lines I just know by heart. And that's really tells you how much I love that show. Moving on, after Dawson's Creek, we have The O.C., another song which is California. That song really brings a lot of memories too. This one is based in California and it revolves around rich teenagers basically we have the same drama and but the scenario is completely different and that this was the actual second show that I started watching up right after Dawson's Creek because Dawson's Creek I think uh, it ended around uh, 2003 yeah it was around 2003 2004 and the VOC started that year this one too again I always loved Seth Cohen. Seth is just the hilarious person you can ever find. It's the cutest nerd of the world. And I was completely hooked. It, it was just so, so funny. And uh, I actually learned that um, most of his lines were um, invented by him. He just spoke his lines. And that really made him even funnier because he just came out with those hilarious jokes and it was so so nice this one i loved i also loved ryan and marisa's story which ended up badly unfortunately but my favorites were always seth and rachel and i was gutted when they broke up in real life but we can't do much about it Moving on to the next one, the next one I would like to talk about is somewhat more recent and it's not actually my typical genre because I'm, I'm more torn to, excuse me guys, it's just so hot, right here is summer and I have 30 degrees and I'm, I'm melting, I swear, but I'm going to just fight the heat. So bear with me. I was saying, I um, I'm not into this kind of fantasy genre of TV shows, but this one um, I started watching when I was in university, so back a few a few years back. And actually, one of my colleagues recommended me to just go ahead and watch it. It's so good. I was skeptical in the beginning because I don't like vampires. I've never really been such a Twilight fan. I'm, I'm probably doing, I'm probably saying something very unpopular, but I've never been such a big fan. Not because I don't like the movie, I don't like the genre. I prefer com comedies and love stories and romance and drama rather than actually fantasy. Then I started watching it and I was completely hooked. And we're talking about The Vampire Diaries. And guys, even though I was scared, genuinely scared, because I remember the first episode starts with a head, just a head, a head cut, and that would really scare me, but it was so, so good. It's like, there's so much drama and so many, relationships and so many twists and turns and it's so so good plus the music guys music i think music it's crucial in everything it really moves the world but when it comes to tv shows and when it comes to some specific scene if the music is perfect the scene it just comes alive and there are so many great songs in, the, in these TV shows that uh, I was so, so pleased to find out, first of all, and they would match Made in Heaven with some scenes, and I was so, so happy about it. I think it was about eight seasons long, and I kind of got a bit lost towards the last season. I, I get bored because I think that 
some TV shows need to end sooner. They just go um, uh, go way too long, and eight seasons it's quite a long TV show. In fact, uh, towards the end, I got a little bit bored, but it's still it's a great TV show, and I think you should watch it. Plus, uh, Nina and Damon, I mean. <laughs> Uh, Elena and Damon were such a great couple. Again, they were all, they were together in real life. Broke up, so sad about it, but we have to move on with life. Moving on, I would like to mention one of my favorites again and one of the last TV shows that Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl really made me made my love for fashion and beauty grow and it was a such such a great TV show. I loved it from season 1 season and Serena van der Rootsen is just a neat really a neat girl and I love Blake Lively style off camera. She's just a goddess. I think this show really shows everything about fashion and how to sell things and how to experiment with style without being boring and it was just so so good i'm sure many of you have seen it otherwise i was serena team serena's team she had the greatest greatest style and actually Blake's style is pretty similar to Serena and I love Blair's style especially when she started to evolve from these from the bows and bands which are, were too girly for me but they were so so good it talks about friendship and uh, I've had that all my life and it talks about drama and love when you just fight for someone even sometimes if they're not worth it and you are betrayed by people and there's a lot in that tv show so i figure it's a great great tv show one of the most recent actually the most recent tv show that i started to watch which is Kitty king i know it's too soon to talk about my favorite show of all time but Based on the first season, I'm just completely hooked. I love Lucy Hale, she's just a gem and I love the style of these TV shows because it's some sort of uh, musical inspired and there are so many original songs. The story is great, it's different, it's not always love and drama. Of course there's drama but there's fashion as a protagonist and there are lies and it's so so good so i cannot wait for season two and i hope they start filming soon then i would like to mention another one which is also one of my favorites and i started watching first of all because when i first saw the promo i was completely intrigued and second of all because there's hillary duff in it and i've been uh, a fan of Hilary Duff since Raise Your Voice and I growing up she really was my idol and I think she's a really really role mother. So the TV show that I'm talking about it's called Younger. This one is actually has a, some an interest an interesting story because it revolves around Liza who lies about her age to get a job in publishing and there's actually a book related to this um, to this TV show which is called Marriage Vacation which is actually mentioned in the TV show. I still haven't had the chance to read it but I will buy it for sure. And again this TV show is really really great. There are there's a lot of fashion and twists and I think it's it has a, such an original plot and it's actually quite uh, I would say um, um, the fact that Liza lies about her age shows that a problem that um, single moms or that grown up facing because most of the time when you get pregnant and you just go on maternity leave most of the times you won't be back at work and you end up losing your job and I think that's an important topic that's really he's touched in this uh, in this show of course i don't think in reality people will go that extreme but still it's something that a woman 
could potentially do to get a job. And I think it's a really, really great TV show. And uh, I would say for last, I think there are so many TV shows, guys. I, I want to name them all, really. And, but I can't. I feel like, like I can't. I want to mention also Pretty Little Liars. As I said, I love Lucy Hale. She's just so beautiful. I actually know I've started to really appreciate her when I started watching Pretty Little Liars. And I love that TV shows. Again, not my cup of tea, not my genre, but it's this one is sort of mysterious and uh, quite scary at times. But again, another great plot. And I loved Aria, a love story with a teacher. Not super professional, but at least fun to watch. And I love Emily's stories and the characters were so, so good. And most of the TV shows, I started watching them after a long time they came out, but still, they're still so, so good. And then I would like to mention two TV shows that are Turkish. I'm just completely hooked by Turkish TV shows and this reason I want to start learning Turkish. Um, I don't know if I ever mentioned this in my pre previous videos, but I would like to go to Istanbul so, so bad. It's actually pretty close to where I live. It's not really that far away. I think it's about two hours flight, a two hours flight, but I would like to talk about Argenji Kush. I'm just mentioning the original name. Guys, if you haven't watched it, you still have to watch it. I'm sure in your country it's available. If not, you can watch it online with English subtitles. And I love these TV shows. And they're completely different from the American and the British ones because it's just so platonic and it takes like 10 episodes to just to see a kiss and it's com it's just so different but that's really what makes it really really beautiful because you have to really wait for something even minimal to happen and i love everything about that plus they're different because uh, they they're not split in seasons but they just go on forever each episode lasts at least two hours which is a really long time whether the average episode of a tv show is 40 minutes long and this one our genji kush is about 51 episodes long and compared to the fact that each episode it's it's two hours long just do the math it's a really really long tv shows and it talks about a girl who is trying to escape from her life, who's dreaming to just be a writer and lives in a tropical island. Then accidentally to a party she kissed, she kissed a man and she's trying to find out who he is. And um, I'm not going to spoil it because you have to watch it. And uh, she goes about, she tells up so many lies because she wants to help her family. In the end, she gets this job in a publicity company uh, when they do campaigns for other companies where um, she works with her sister. Then right there, she meets uh, the boss and she kind of falls in love with him and the story goes on and it's so so good guys you have to watch it and uh, for the last one i would like to mention game on girls game on girls is just uh, one hell of a tv shows it really reminds me of my um of my the actual relationship that I have with my mom. We are actually best friend, especially when I was younger, she was really my best friend. Right now, I'm not saying that we're not best friends anymore, but the actual relationship is kind of changing and evolving because I'm growing up, I'm getting older and we fight a little bit more. So I'm sure you can relate. And uh, actually, I'm watching again Gilmore Girls on Netflix. And uh, I started watching back when I was in quarantine. And uh, at night, when there's nothing to watch uh, and interesting on TV, I just grab Gilmore Girls and watch it. It's so, so good. 
uh, it's about love and relationship with your family and building relationship with your family even though your family is not complete because Rory lives with her mom her dad is not really present and that's that's so good and um, I love it and I cannot wait to finish it finish it up again because I think I didn't watch the recap or the last season so it's a good time for me to just get hold of it so guys I hope you enjoy this video let me know what are your current or what are your favorite TV shows I'm just so curious to know I hope it didn't bother you too much I know I talk way too much and probably way too fast but I know you I know you love me <laughs> I know I'm just kidding um, if you get that joke about Gossip Girl anyway uh, don't forget to subscribe and join this little little family and see you on my next one bye